Hi, my name is Ron. I am Caleb Workman's grandfather on his mother's side, and I wanted to provide a little bit of family history uh, for him and his project today. Um, it starts back in the 50s. Uh, my parents met in Gulf Shores, actually, uh, in 1956. My dad was a Navy pilot. Um, he was an enlisted Navy man, but he signed up for the enlisted pilot program that the Navy had at the time to help develop more pilots. and was stationed at the original Bering Field, uh, which was right outside of Foley. My mother uh, was a graduate of Murphy High School, and during spring break of her senior years, her and some of her friends went to Gulf Shores uh, for the day, as kids still do today uh, on spring break. And while she was there, um, my father happened to be on the beach that day on leave, uh, on liberty as it were, for the weekend. And that's how they met. They met on the beach that day. A few months later, they started dating. Um, and in September of 56, just uh, six months after they began dating, they got married. Uh, at the time, um, if you were in the enlisted pilot program, uh, you were not allowed to be married until you finished the program. Uh, but my dad wanted to get married anyway to my mom and so he went to his commanding officer and told him he was getting married. He was going to get married and his commanding officer said, well, we'll have to kick you out of the program if you do that and you haven't finished yet. And my dad said, um, I'm really in love and I want to get married and I don't want to wait, so it's okay, you can kick me out. So uh, Caleb's great-grandfather, my father, um, basically chose love uh, for the woman he wanted to marry over his career as a pilot in the Navy. He eventually, um, uh, a few months later, got assigned, ironically enough, to an aircraft carrier, the USS Intrepid, and began the next two years on a, a tour, two or three tours in the Mediterranean on the USS Intrepid aircraft carrier. Uh, I was, they were born in September, or they were married in September of 56. I was born in, in December of 57. Um, my father got out of the Navy uh, late in 1959, and we settled here in the Mobile area where, where my mother was from. Uh, as I mentioned, my mother went to Murphy High School, graduated in 56, and as another piece of history, her mother, um, my grandmother, was in the very first graduating class at Murphy High School in the mid to late 20s. And I don't remember if it was 26 or 29, but it was one of those years in there. Um, I went to Fondy Elementary School, and in 64-65, my first grade year, uh, the city of Mobile was planning to bring the USS Alabama to Mobile, and there was a big program going on at the time where students could bring in pennies or coins to try to um, build a fund uh, and everyone be involved in, in building this fund in order to raise money to bring the USS Alabama here to Battleship Park. Um, later on, I went to Zayro Junior High School, which um, was only seventh and eighth grade back back in those days. There was only two grades in junior high. And then in 1972, I began uh, my high school career at Davidson High School. Um, Davidson uh, was one of the few schools in the area that began the desegregation of the students um, in 1971, the year before I arrived there. And in, of course, my freshman year there, there were busking in students from other parts of the inner city here in Mobile and, and having them enroll there at Davidson High School and there was some some issues uh, with the uh, with the students uh, during the first couple of years but by the time I graduated in 1976 uh, there were no issues between any of the students everyone had begun to get along and become good friends and and it was just an amazing four years to go through to start out as as hectic and as frantic as it was at times there in the first couple of years uh, to everybody getting along and having zero issues by the time we gra graduated in our senior year of uh, June of 1976. Uh, during my four years at Davidson High School, um, I played football all four years. Uh, I tried to be in the marching band my first year, but I realized real fast that I wasn't going to be able to be in the marching band and play football. I was in the band at uh, my junior high, seventh and eighth grade, and was first chair drummer uh, my eighth grade there at uh, Zay Road. So I was really interested in the drums and, and joined the band my freshman year. But uh, as I said, I realized real fast, I wasn't going to be able to do both, and football was my passion. I had been playing since I was seven years old. So I just decided to continue with football and then give up uh, the band and, the, and my dream of being in the marching band. Uh, when I started in 72 at Davidson, I was a freshman football player. I weighed 118 pounds. 
Um, by the time I finished my career at Davidson, I'd grown a little bit, uh, two more inches tall, and uh, actually had gained up to 155 pounds. Uh, I played on the JV team uh, my sophomore and junior year as a first string uh, outside linebacker, middle linebacker. And then in my senior year, uh, I was a second string linebacker, but in fall camp, we were short on offensive linemen and they switched me to offensive line. So I ended up playing guard my senior year as a uh, first string alternate uh, on the Davidson High School football team. I was also involved in the key club there um, and enjoyed that a lot. I was on the uh, Red Cross uh, drive as well for, for blood drive and during our uh, four years at Davidson I gave more than a gallon of blood uh, to the American Red Cross. Uh, all the football players did that at least once a year and uh, I, I gave uh, you know a pint each time and then at other times during the year when there was another drive I would join that as well.